Hey guys, so we're here with uh, the new Fantic 310. This is the, the bike I'm racing this year in the E2 class. Uh, so far, really like it. It's got a lot more power in the bottom, which um, I like to, to use the, the power in the bottom of the bike. I don't li like to rev it out so much, but yeah, this is my, my new bike for this year. And um, I'm gonna show you around the little things I change and my preferences and uh, see if uh, you can take anything from it. The silicone, yeah. like this. Also, like quite a hard seat, a higher seat. So Alex managed to, after two or three different seats, come up Hell with the, yeah. the best one. So it's really hard; doesn't really move much. I quite like that. Um, we got the Valentini hydraulic clutch system, which is uh, really nice. Uh, I've got the factory Kyaba shock which I find really helps with, uh, with the traction. We have the special chrome graphics from Fantic. In the airbox, we run the big twin air filter, um, which is a little bit bigger than standard. Gives it a little bit more power. Valentini did me some nice custom start and stop buttons. I had a little moment few years ago when I hit my chest and nearly stopped the bike in the extreme test. So we also have the uh, Jekko upgraded parts, a little bit stronger and also makes the bike look nice, uh, which is an upgraded package you can uh, buy with Fantic. I also have the Jekko foot pegs, which are a little bit down and back to standard. Carbon tank as well, which is doesn't have any benefits really, but it looks really nice. I also drill out my engine mounts just to have a little bit more flex with the bike because uh, with it being aluminium chassis it's quite stiff. So with the Rikon handlebars I like to run quite a low bend and quite rolled back. I quite like uh, the bike to feel quite low underneath me. Um, and also the recluse clutch I have, it's not the, the automatic, it's the manual recluse, uh, but that helps a lot with the feeling as well as the hydraulic clutch. Also I have uh, the little secret start button just for emergency. Um, and then also the sprockets, I use a 14 and 50 sprockets. Uh, is the best feeling I have with this bike. So that's my uh, look around my 310. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, if, uh, if you've learned anything or going to do anything to your bikes, please let me know in the comments. I'd be quite interested to know or if you've got any tips that uh, you've done on your bikes that I might be interested in. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you in a, a new video. If you, if you liked it also, let me know and uh, subscribe.